In this video, we are going to see how the LSP can be configured statically. The static LSP can be configured between the LSR routers and in this example, we have PE1 router, P router and PE2. PE1 is the ingress P router is the transit P2 is the egress router we have at the egress router low back address is 2.2.2.2 slash 32 this network advertised from the egress router to the transit and from the transit to the ingress router we are going to establish static LSP for this network at the ingress, transit and egress router. This example is very important for us to show how the LSP can be established before we go to establish the LSP dynamically using LDB and RSVB. In this example, the network 2.2.2.2/32. This is the FIC network, and it's received at the PE1 router. We will assign the out label 300 at PE1 or the ingress router. The in label here null because we are at the ingress router so the ingress router will not receive traffic dedicated to this network with a label because this is the ingress first point of the MPLS network it will start to add the MPLS header with label to be sent from PE1 to P router and the traffic will be labeled with the out label 300 to be sent to the transit router. The transit router will have this network with in label 300 and out label 200. Out label to send the traffic dedicated to this network with the out label 200 towards the egress router. Finally, at the egress router, in label for this network is 200 and out label is null because this is the last point in the MPLS network PE2 router is directly connected to this network and this network is out of the MPLS so the traffic dedicated to this network will be sent without a label this is why the out label is null. Let's check the configuration required to establish the LSP. First configuration required here is the IGB. The IGB is the interior gateway protocol must be enabled between PE1, P and PE2 to advertise the FIC, to advertise the network 2.2.2.2 from PE2 to P to PE1 the IGB can be OSPF, ISIS or any IGB routing protocol the most important here is to receive this network first in the routing table so the network can be published in the routing table in the RIP at the control plane then we can establish the required label for this network. Second point here is to configure the MPLS LSR ID, MPLS and static LSPs. We have three points here at PE1 at the global mode we will configure the MPLS LSR ID is 1.1.1.1 and usually this LSR ID is configured at the loopback 0 interface. We configure the loopback 0 interface at PE1 and assign an IP address for it, which is here 
1.1.1.1 and go to the system view mode of PE1 and add command MPLS LSR ID 1.1.1.1. Next is to enable the MPLS on the global mode or the system view mode MPLS. Then press enter. We receive info from the router states that MPLS is starting. Please wait. That takes very short while. Then it's okay that MPLS is enabled on the router. Then we quit. And next is to enable the MPLS on the interface. The interface connected to the MPLS network, which is connected to the P router. The interface here is Giga Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0. And inside the interface, we add the command MPLS. So for now, we added the MPLS LSR ID and enabled MPLS globally. And inside the interface, we add the MPLS keyword to enable the MPLS. We can see here that PE1 connected to P router with interface Giga Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0. This is why we selected this interface and added command MPLS under this interface. So we finished the MPLS LSR ID, the MPLS at the system view and selected the interface at PE1 router, which is connected to the transit router, enabled MPLS on this interface, then we quit. And next is to configure the LSP itself. We add the LSP itself statically at the system view of the router with command static dash LSP space ingress because we are at the ingress router and then we add the name for this LSP we can create it as any name here I add the name as PE1 to PE2 next is to add destination keyword destination then the destination network itself 2.2.2.2 space the mosque and next hope keyword and finally the next hope and the next hope IP address the next hope IP address here is the IP address of the transit router which is the P router connected to the giga Ethernet interface 0 slash 0 slash 0. And finally, we add the out label keyword, then the label itself, which is 300. We can see here the interface of the P router connected to the PE1 has an IP address 10.13.13.3. And the out label is 300. 10.13.13.13.3. Correct. And the out label 300. Next is to add the configuration at the P router and the PE2 router. Of course, we have to define the MPLS LSR ID. The MPLS on the system view and add the MPLS on the interfaces for P1 router and PE2. In this example, we will show only the static LSP creation for P1 and PE2. At P1, we will add the command static LSP and this time keyword transit because we are at p1 and its name we can create it any name it's not a must to be 
the same name created at PE1 but for simplicity I'll add the same name and next we add the keyword incoming dash interface then we add the interface which is connected to the PE1 which will receive the traffic from PE1 it's giga ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 and the in label is 300 it must be the out label configured at PE1 next is to add the next hop keyword and the next hop is the IP address of the interface connected at PE2 router or the egress router and keyword out label then 200 let's review these variables we can see that the interface giga ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 at p router is the interface connected to the pe1 which will receive the traffic with the label 300 and this time at the p router the label 300 is the in label and then the traffic will be forwarded to pe2 but with next hope is 10.32.32.2 because we are sending the traffic to PE2 which is the egress router and of course the out label is 200 we can find here that we have correct variables giga ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 and the in label 300 next hope the IP address we reviewed in the network diagram and the out label is 200 finally at PE2 we add the command static LSP and this time is egress keyword the name is PE1 to PE2 incoming interface giga ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 and the in label is label 200